Do you get defensive when you're corrected? Do you fight back and struggle to own your mistakes? Well, if you do, welcome to my club. I have a confession. I am a recovering defenseaholic. I have been defensive all my life when I've been corrected. And there's reasons for that. And today we're exploring why we get defensive and how to stop being defensive. I'm Jenny from Love More To Live, where we talk about relationships and getting healthy so that all your relationships can be healthy. You know, it's very hard to point out something to a defensive person because they'll say things like, you're judging me, you're criticizing me, you think I'm a terrible person, I can't help it, I'm just, it's just the way I am. And how do, you, how do you solve a problem with a person like that? It's very, very difficult. Whenever I'm corrected, my first response and my first reaction is always fight back, defend yourself, make an excuse, say, it's because of this, I did that, you know, I did this because you did that, and what about you? And I have all these arguments, but it doesn't help to solve conflict and it doesn't help me at all in any way. And I've often felt really dis despondent about, about myself because I'm so defensive and I fight back all the time, especially in my marriage with Richard. I have been very defensive with him and it's made it really hard for him because he, he feels like, how do, I, how do I bring up anything with her because she just fights back? And it makes him feel like, Whatever he's feeling doesn't matter because I just fight back and I have an excuse for what I did. So it does, it causes conflict in relationships. So why do people get defensive? Well, I'm going to share with you the reasons that I get defensive. And if any of them resonate with you, leave a comment below and let me know. So uh, the reason, one of the main reasons I get defensive is because it touches my self-worth. It makes me feel like a failure, like I'm just a rotten person. And if you already have a feeling of not being good enough, then your only option is to get defensive because what else do I have? So I fight back because I just feel so bad about myself. And it, it also pokes a sore place in my past because as a child, when I was corrected, I was never made to feel that there's hope. I've always felt condemned and that left me feeling very guilty, hopeless, like how do I correct this? And like I've got to be punished for a few days before I can actually come and say sorry. And it was just, it would it'd send me into a spiral for, for a few days on end of just feeling awful. Just feeling so guilty and terrible about myself. So I was never given that hope of, you know what, it's okay. You made a bad choice, but that, that doesn't make you a bad person. And you can fix this by just apologizing, by owning it and saying, yes, I did do wrong. I'm sorry. How can I fix it? I was never given that Taught, I was never taught that skill and I was never actually taken to God and, and taught how to pray and say, Lord, please forgive me for what I did wrong and to receive God's forgiveness for the mistake I had made. Another reason people are defensive could be pride. You know, pride is often the result of a low self-worth and I, I don't think this is something that I struggle with because I, I kind of think really badly of myself a lot of the time. But for some people, this could be a reason why. In other words, they'll think, who do you think you are correcting me? In other words, they have an elevated opinion of themselves and they are above correction. Some people, some people may have that. So I'm putting it out there. Correction can sometimes feel unloving to us if we don't have a true concept of what, what love really is and what how love really behaves. But true love actually does correct. True love does point out mistakes. If you look at how God treated his people all through the Bible, how he pointed out and said to them, you've done this wrong. You need to come back to me, but you've refused. You need to. These are the consequences if you don't come back to me, if you don't choose to listen to me and obey me. And so true love does correct. And if we're feeling unloved by it, then there's something wrong with our understanding of what love is. A tough or traumatic past could also make a person feel defensive because they see life through this negative lens and, and their responses are just negative. And so they can be ultra sensitive to any kind of negativity or apparent negativity. And so their response will be fight back, defend themselves. So how do you as a defensive person, stop being defensive. Well, number one is understand yourself and why you react the way you do. What is your history? How do you feel when you, how did you feel when you were corrected as a child? 
what do you what does it make you feel now when you are corrected do you feel ashamed do you feel condemned do you feel guilty do you feel useless do you feel embarrassed what makes you fight back ask yourself those questions and start praying about it because god will help you to unpack this and to understand yourself because and when you start understanding yourself and why you do what you do it's easier to let that behavior go so number two is take ownership of your defensiveness and that means simply acknowledging i am defensive i recognize this in myself i am defensive i need to do some work on this i'm too sensitive to correction there's some work i need to do here number three is toughen up emotionally and this is something that I've had, to, I've had to say to myself in the moment like you know what just take it take it on the chin take the correction you do you did do wrong don't fight back stop being defensive sometimes you have to stop and have this, a little conversation with yourself and remind yourself that you can do this you can take this get emotionally tough number four is separate your value from your behavior if your value is attached to your performance, you're going to live a, have a very up and down experience and you're going to feel miserable a lot of the time because you're not going to be able to be perfect all the time. And so you're going to make mistakes. And if, you're, if, your, behavior, if, if your behavior, if your value is attached to your behavior, you're going to feel really bad about yourself when you mess up and you're going to feel amazing when you don't mess up. The amazing part is wonderful, but the, ba the feeling bad about yourself isn't so wonderful. And so separate separate the two your performance does not equal your value your value was established at calvary jesus died for you that's where he placed value on your life and on you as a person and no matter what you do no matter how you perform no matter what your behavior is it does not take away the fact that that jesus valued you so much that he gave his life to save you separate your value from your behavior and your performance the next point is remind yourself that you are not condemned because the Bible says so. Romans 8 verse 1, there is therefore now no condemnation. God is not a condemning God. He doesn't, he doesn't have that in him to make us feel so guilty that we, we cannot come to him, that we want to run away instead of coming back to him and confessing our sins, that we want to run away from the person that we've offended or hurt. That condemnation is not from God. That feeling of of utter guilt and hopelessness and despair is not from God. Learn to recognize that and learn to reject it and say, no, I will not listen to this because that is the thing for me that often makes me fight back and get defensive. The next point is surrender your reactions and your responses to God in the moment. Lord, I'm feeling so defensive. Just take this from me. I give it to you. Please take ownership of my heart right now and work in me to will and to do according to your good pleasure. That's Philippians 2 verse 13. And when we give our hearts to him and we yield ourselves to him, God comes into our hearts and he works in us to become, to have healthy responses and to be able to relate in a healthy way to others, even when we are corrected. Another thing you can do is take some time out. Say to the person, you know what, I really want to be able to respond to you in a thoughtful way, but I can't do that right now. Can you give me a little bit of time just to think about this and pray about it? And can I come back to you on this? This, this will give you time to go away, to subdue that defensiveness by surrendering it to God and to think rationally and reasonably about it instead of just in the heat of the moment, fighting back and defending yourself. So it's wise to step back and take some time to get yourself under God's control so that you can respond in a healthy way. And then lastly, offer yourself what you need in the moment. What do I mean by that? Well, for me, that means saying to myself, you know what? It's okay. You're not condemned. You are still loved. God accepts you. All you have to do here is just say, you know what? I'm sorry. I did mess up. I take ownership of that and I will work on it. Um, how can I fix it? How can I fix this? What can I do to make it right between us? And 
for me that has been transformational that it, it's actually diffused a situation for me where I would have fought back and been defensive and then I would have been felt guilty and so bad about myself for at least two or three days and then I would struggle to enter back into the relationship because I still feel bad about myself and am I forgiven and I don't know if I'm forgiven and I would be it was it just becomes a complete mess in my heart and in my mind where I struggle for days on end to forgive myself and to to feel forgiven and to feel not condemned and to get rid of the guilt and to actually eventually come back and say i'm i'm sorry <laughs> whereas if i could just do that in the beginning and just say you know what i'm sorry i'm really sorry so offer yourself that offer yourself what you need i need to know that i'm not condemned i need to know that i am forgiven i need to know that i'm still loved and that i am accepted offer that to yourself just quietly in your own mind and just see what it does for you. This tip really helped me a lot. I want to share with you some verses from Proverbs and I'm reading from the New International Version and that's from Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 9 verse 7 to 10 and it speaks about the different responses when people are corrected. How do people respond when they are corrected? You get the wise man and you get the, the scorner or the mocker. Whoever corrects a mocker invites insult. So the poor person who's trying to correct this person um, just gets trouble. Whoever, whoever rebukes a wicked man incurs abuse. Do not rebuke a mocker or he will hate you. Rebuke a wise man and he will love you. Instruct a wise man and he will be wiser still. Teach a righteous man and he will add to his learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So how do we become wise and, and restart responding to correction and to mess ups in a wise manner, like the wise man, by fearing the Lord, by loving him, by serving him, by giving our hearts to him, by surrendering ourselves to him and saying, Lord, work in me, change me, show me why I do what I do. Help me to overcome this defensiveness. Help me to let go of this desire to fight back and to protect myself. I really want to become that wise person. I really want to overcome this defensiveness and this fighting back because I see what it does to my relationship, particularly in marriage. And I don't want to be that person anymore. I don't want to be like that where I fight back and I make excuses for myself. I want to be the wise person that can take correction. And I really admire people who can actually even invite correction. I can't even invite correction. For example, I, I, I can't even take something that I've made and say to, a, say to someone, what do you think of this? Where should I make it better? Do you think, can you point out to me where the mistakes are, where the faults are? I struggle to do that because of it, it just makes me feel so bad. And I want to get over that. I want to be the wise person who can take correction and who can even invite correction. Oh, I, I've got a way to go. I've got some work to do. How about you? <laughs> leave, a, leave a comment if you relate to any of this. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing and then click the bell so that you can receive notifications of future videos. And we'll see you in the next video.